here at the Starkville Civil War Arsenal with Duffy Neubauer. He's going to talk about this. A traveling forge. Most people wonder why would an artillery unit have a forge? And it is a complete operational blacksmith shop. Not only do I have a two-chambered bellows forge, but I have all of the tools, four boxes of tools in that chest right there uh, to run the blacksmith shop. And one of the functions of the blacksmiths were, were the operations of the farrier. Now, if you have a hundred horses in your battery, which is about what a battery would have had, they need to be shot about every four to six weeks. So uh, you may go through 2,500 to 3,000 shoes a year in your battery. They also did all of the metal repair. Uh, they had heading tools. They could make bolts and nuts. They could tap threads. This is a complete metal fabricating operation along with doing all their forge welding. And did both sides use a version of this? Or? Yes, yes. Uh, obviously, the Union had a lot more of them. But if you didn't have a forge, uh, you're going to start breaking down. And when your sh horses can't be shod, they're going to start having problems. And it just keeps magnifying the problem. So very, very important uh, support vehicle, the traveling forge.